Now on Tourney 4, I think this is Walter's map pick. Oh, I'm stoked too. Tourney 4, love the map, and here we go. We're getting started. Let's follow Walter off the bat. It looks like he's going to get... Oh, he let Chance have it, dude! You could have grabbed it! You had a shotgun, he's got a machine gun! Mistake number one right there. Peace. Chance takes lead. That's that's kind of yeah. I don't understand why uh, Walter didn't dumb. just rush in there. He's probably that was dumb. probably getting the nerves a little bit to him. I mean, uh, Chance is getting knocked down right now. He's gonna wait near this upper YA. He is gonna get it. Walter is gonna have to go to the lower YA. Uh, looks like Chance is not going to battle him there. No, I mean, Chance could have gone super aggressive mode at that point. I think Chance is probably sitting there at his computer going, "How did I get Mega?" Seriously, my opponent was there, had a shotgun. I mean, do you realize that if Walter would have just jumped over that perch and fired his shotgun as he was jumping across, he would have the first uh, the, the first frag right there. However, Walter's still holding on. Chance is going to finally get that frag after firing a base full of buckshot there at Walter. Walter's going to grab that rail, and you'll watch these guys. They will try to control the rail against one another because obviously, if you are railless here on turn four, uh, you know it's kind of like driving a car with three tires. You just you're not going to get very far, dude. You've got to have that four tire. Your rail is a four tire on T4. And However, yeah, Walter making a nice comeback here. Walter hitting four rails there, uh, taking down Chance twice, tying this game back up to two, uh, pushing Chance away uh, towards that upper YA. Does miss two rails there. Chance does get. Uh, that upper YA and is going to have position on this lower YA coming out. Walter's going to rush in with shotgun, hits three. Oh Ooh. My God, but dude. Chance with a shotgun to the face and picks up the YA just as it spawns. This is turning out to be a pretty good match, though, Slasher. So far here on T4, there is that rail, that peak rail. It's going to be landed by Chance following Walter still. He's on recovery mode right now. Oh, and misses. Uh, there's a big uh, misfire rocket there. I would say that a little bit of that has got to be nerves coming out by Walter. Again, as we mentioned, not a whole lot of land experience, but that may slowly and surely shave away as the match continues. So if Walter could actually keep this score deficit to his advantage or not that wide, he might be good once he gets a little bit comfortable. Right now, I'm looking at Walter. He's got 81 health, 50 armor. His opponent's only got 42, 58. So neither of these guys are in tip-top shape to uh, be, be engaging in any major battles. But there we're going to see some rails exchange. Chance hits his. Walter's misses. Walter's going to fire another one. Misses that one as well. Thinks he needs some more ammo. He's going to grab that. Couple shards on the outside. And he's still only down by one. Makes his way through the teleporter. Going to anticipate of coming out on the upper YA side, and he does. Chance grabs it. Don't go through that door. Almost got railed right there. Chance now still up three to two, and uh, there it is. That's going to be the rail that will give Chance a definitive lead. It's now four to two, and let's uh, let's follow Chance now. Uh, both players are missing some crucial rails that would put them in better positions right now, but the Chance is the one hitting more of those rails right now. Uh, so he is oh. up five to two. Uh, he does just miss that peak rail. Walter is going to be able to get that upper YA, even though he does eat one rail. Chance is waiting for him outside that teleporter. Uh, he is going to be knocked down low, so Chance is able to keep control uh, of that upper YA. Uh, there are, remember, a Mega only spawns every two minutes. Right. So it is very important to time that Mega. Walter did steal away that last Mega, uh, and he has the perfect timing. So he does know it's going to be spawning in about 25 seconds right now. And now, that next Mega will be very important. Let's switch over to Walter right now. Walter has 64 points of health. He's, at, uh, he's about to pick up this YA, 2-1. He's going to grab it right here. Now, Chance is down to 26 points of health. So, Ooh. oh my god, two rockets from down below, and that's all she wrote. Chance was down to 22 points of health. And Walter, real oh, they're uh, another great. I mean, dude. Uh, Walter just has to kind of flick him on the forehead a little bit, just kind of like blow on him, and it would have been all done. But that two-minute mega health hits, and then boom, uh -huh. there the advantage goes to Chance. So I feel like Walter's actually still making a good game, but maybe a lack of aggression here is actually hurting his chances. Now, you can't be too aggressive because uh, guys will just rail you down. But uh, in this case, uh, look, Chance is down to 21 points of health again. Fire that machine gun, buddy. He's going to pick up two more 25s, and uh, we're following Chance. He's up by seven frags, but is this match over? Absolutely not. 
five minutes and 17 seconds on there Vertical Vengeance on T4, anything can happen. You can mass frags very quickly as oh, uh, wow. Walter did get pick one up, but instantly was taken down after Chance got himself a rocket launcher. Chance is still in control. He's got 78 health, 22, and he's still up by seven. So, uh, and Walter do did rush in there with that shotgun, got that frag that he needed, and then Chance came right back at him, uh, had that rocket landed directly on Walter's face, regained control, and now Chance is back in control uh, of this map. He does have a position on this YA that's going to spawn right now. He does pick it up, so Chance does have a much better armor and versus health Versus not picking it up? Yeah, versus not picking it up. I don't think I'm going to pick up this yellow armor this I'll time. I'll just leave it here. I just doesn't look that appealing to me. So, so he does have a better uh, armor and health stack over Walter. Does pick up the upper YA now. Uh, he does hit two oh, more rails on the Walter. Uh, so he is up on a big lead now. He is going to position himself for this next Mega. Uh, Walter is going to have to try to get this Mega if he wants to get back in this game. Or, or, you know, I f kind of feel like Walter's hitting his rails like really, really nicely. It's just his follow-ups is what he seems to be lacking in. Now he's trying to capitalize and have at least one yellow armor. He gets a nice rocket bounce there, but Chance is still ready for it. And uh, off the spawn, you can see that Chance is just still going crazy, uh, chasing after Walter, knowing that he can rush down and get some good frags in here. He is up by nine right now, and there is the Mega picked up Perfectly by Chance. Timed. Perfectly timed. You're absolutely right. He's got that one down. And actually, timing a two-minute Mega should be pretty easy. However, making sure that you're ready to take it without any sort of problem, that could be a little tougher. Now, Walter did get some nice rocket damage there as Chance tried to follow up with the shotgun, but Walter still couldn't get the job done. Walter gets hit once again. And let's follow Walter a little bit, watch what he's doing. Uh, he's up on the top level, just having come to that teleporter. He's got 42 health, 10 armor. And see, like, there was a missed jump. Like, that to me, that had to just be, like, a mistake that just happened to happen. Um, and, and you've just got to recover from it. So uh, Walter's still firing away. Doesn't want his opponent to get that yellow armor, but he will get it anyway. And that has ultimately been, in my opinion, the reason why Chance has, uh, has, has, has taken the lead that he has. He's controlled the power-ups better. And, you know, two good players. The person who controls the power-ups is... is likely going to have a better chance of succeeding in victory. Two minutes, 42 seconds remaining. It's now an 11 point game with Chance still in the lead. He's on the upper levels and he's pretty much got T4 on lockdown. I mean, anything can happen in T4 just because of how this map is designed. Uh, but there is only two, th two minutes, 30 seconds left. Chance is playing uh, a good defensive game right now because he has the lead. He can do this. He is catching Walter with rail out in the corner. Going to get two nice shotgun shots there and take Walter down. Uh, make this 15 to 3. So Chance is going to take the first map here. Uh, I'm not sure if they decided what the second map would be. Uh, Walter with a nice rocket through the pillars there. Makes it 15 to 4. Now, you look at something like that, you're like, okay, he's, he's only down by 11. He's got two minutes left. He just took control there. Can he make it back? And the answer is going to be, quite frankly, no. Uh, because even if Walter went full steam, like read every single spawn that he possibly could, things like that will happen. You know, turtling up on the top, having a rail, waiting for your opponents to come out of the teleporter, finishing them off like that. So Chance isn't going to give his opponent any opportunities to just get easy frags here. In fact, he's really not letting up at all. And I think that's a smart thing for Chance to do. There's a little something that we like to call momentum. And when you're dealing with momentum, especially against someone who doesn't have land experience, uh, you know, Stewart, excuse me, Slasher, the momentum you, sorry, bro. The, the momentum you want to take it into the next map. So by absolutely dominating your opponent in those final minutes, they sort of go into the next map going, I just kind of got my ass handed to me, you know? Like, and now I've got to play another fresh game, you know? I look at that and I'm like, all right, what's, what's past is past. Move on, let's do it. But we Not also all know, like that. we know Walter can be an emotional player. A lot of Quake players are emotional players. It can have a heavy effect on a, on, on a, Competitive. And it's the same thing where if they had won that game, they would take all that momentum in with them to the next map, have that, them winning and hitting all their shots at the end, and they would take that into the next map, uh, you know, as their play gets more emotional. So it does depend on the player and the type of player that uh, they are. Walter is Absolutely. one of those players where beating him down really bad might make him think uh, a lot about the next map.
It, it might, you know, and then, but if Walter could get an early lead, what would that do to, you know, someone who had a great lead and was able to take, oh, Walter just blew himself up. That's also not a great way to end the map. No. Usually Last kill, bad. suicide. Three, two, one, that'll be it. Map one is down, Chance takes it. 24 to three, and that means we'll be moving on to map two. Did you catch what the second map was gonna be? No, Sasha? we will find out right now. Though. All right, we'll find out in just a second as uh, we cycle the next map. What you expected, I, I kind of felt like uh, he started off really good, and then Walter started off pretty good. We had that close game for like two minutes. It was three to two, and then slowly but surely, I think Chance started getting a little bit more comfortable. He was hitting a lot more rails. He was definitely using his auxiliary weapons much better. We saw Chance many times, like using that shotgun, using the plasma. And Walter pretty much was banking on hitting the rail shots and then trying to follow up with that accordingly. Was he able to do it? Obviously not. But here we are now on ZTN Tourney 1. Walter's map pick. By it is way. Walter's map. Walter Interesting. Map so, so Chance, Chance did picked T4. T4. Good for you, Chance. Good for you. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we are going to be preparing to fight. And since this is Walter's map pick, we'll start off with Walter as we get started live on three. Three, two, one. Let's get started. Map two. Walter must win this one to stay alive and force a third map. Can he do it? Well, these 15 minutes are about to tell, or these 10 minutes, excuse me, are about to tell us right here. Walter is going to get an RA spawn. Was that literally, that, is that the first RA pickup in the that game? That is the first RA Holy pickup. Instead crap. of going from RA from rail, he went and picked up the YA near Plasma instead. So Interesting. He, he did delay RA a little bit. He did catch uh, Chance uh, rushing right into that room, but did miss a few nades as he did. So uh, Walter did try, did try to delay that RA for a few, a few seconds. Good rail coming out there by Chance. Chance is going to escape into that shard hallway. Walter is going to be completely comfortable firing a, a, a grenade into the corner there. And uh, I, he totally missed a jump there, didn't he? I th is he trying to rocket jump up there? That, I, that I was think, very strange. I think he's still trying to delay that RA. He does delay it again, yeah. but, but Chance knows at that time and did hit a rocket as he get it. So Chance does have the timing uh, of that RA. And RA is synced directly up with Mega again. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what each player does and chooses for this next fight. Well, I mean, you look at it right now. Chance has 180. Walter has 4680. So now it's like, dude, you got to go Mega at this point. But there it is. Red's going to be up. Uh, Red was taken and Mega was taken. Let's fire on over to Chance. He now is in full control. He's gotten both the Mega and the RA. He's sitting at 170, 123, picks up a few more shards. That also gives away your position. So those shards can kind of be give and take. Sometimes they really help you if you got nothing for armor. Other times, your opponent will know exactly where you are. Now Chance is gonna take a huge risk here. Dropping down on his opponent, pulls out his LG before Walter. Walter uses that environment to his advantage. How However, Chance is just on top of that. A little bit better aim on there. And he is going to pick up the first frag of ZTN. However, a bit surprising, Slasher, that it came two minutes into the matchup. Really went to show that these guys were playing a patient game with the power up until they were absolutely ready. Chance dropping from the sky like a giant bomb from a B-52 is a good indication that he's ready oh, to fight. Oh, wow. The Chance was a rocket right into the... That uh, was uh, very nice. <laughs> into the area of getting the, the RA and hits it right in Walter's face. Walter's down now, two to nothing. Uh, things did change as Chance has gained control of that Mega and RA. He's gotten every single Mega and RA since then. Walter hasn't been able to do much. Uh, he is going to have to try to regain both these other YAs uh, to combat Chance. Uh, Chance does get that Mega wall. Walter falls down right to rail as that happens. Does hit one rail, misses the second rail, so Chance is going to have him up there. RA is still spawned. Nice. Uh, Walter does catch him, goes through that teleporter, knocks down Chance to 50 health, knocks him down off that RA platform, so RA is still... Oh! oh hits a rocket on the Ow. Walter as he jumps over. Dude, you ridiculous. know what's so sad about that is that Walter knew that rail would kill him. He knew. He was looking for the shot. Chance really went for it. Risky move, yes, but you're going to see a lot of these pro players 
make those risky moves as we saw right there. Walter did not chase and that was very smart of him. He would have probably eaten two or three of those grenades as he came on through. Chance though was down to 25 points of health. He's now sitting at 75-54 in health and armor. He's gonna have to let Walter take that red armor. So let's switch over to him and see what he's gonna do. Walter eats a huge rocket to the face but thankfully just picked up that red so it didn't really impede his ability to go aggressive here. He's gonna eat another rocket which has been by far, Ooh. oh, very nice rail, dude. Jumping in from the teleport exit right there. Uh, Chance is taking some risks, and that was the first one Walter was really able to capitalize on, but there you go. Like, waiting for that RA. Now it's up. It's gonna get taken. He was about one or two seconds behind on that one. RA is up right now. Who's gonna realize it first? Oh, well, it was Chance. He was sitting there, and now it is four to one. Still in favor of Chance. Uh, Walter is playing pretty ballsy here. I mean, Walter was able to get that that kill right there, and but then as soon as he jumped to RA, Chance was able to get that frag right back at him because he only had about 20 health left. Uh, Walter does have control of that Mega now, finally, after the past few minutes of Chance controlling everything. So if Walter can keep control of that Mega and try to fight for this RA, he will be able to get control back of this game. Uh, he is, seems he's gonna let Chance get that Mega and Walter's gonna take the RA instead. So I think Chance probably got the better trade of, of those two because then he can get this YA here and he has more health and armor uh, than Walter and LG's Walter right down to the teleport. Walter basically lost all that stack that he yeah, had Yeah, that was unfortunate. That was just a situation of having the wrong weapon out at the, at the wrong time. A chance came around the corner with an LG, and if, if your opponent has an LG out already and you have to switch to it, they're automatically going to get some massive damage on you before you even have a chance to fire back. That was exactly the situation that Walter was in right there, and you just have to be careful with what weapon you have out. You know, you can't always have the rail out because it makes that humming noise and everyone can hear you from across the map. So, you know, it makes sense why he had a shotgun out, but at the same time, that can cause problems. So, Chance is still in the lead by three, that is actually quite a bit here on ZTN because it's a lot harder to run the spawns than it is on something like T4. Hence, obviously, the difference in score that we're seeing between this map and the last map. Walter getting stuck there on the corner and Chance really able to capitalize on that one. Hits another rail off the spawn. Actually, he didn't hit that rail. My apologies. And uh, we saw the Mega Health picked up by Chance. So it's five to one. Right now, a yellow and a red is up. And it looks like Chance is going to grab that red, but not before Walter lands a couple rockets. However, again, Chance ready to fight and goes after Walter right there. Is he gonna follow? Nope, he's not. Definitely didn't. Nope. I wouldn't have followed. Walter makes a smart decision, does not follow, but that allows uh, Chance to continue control of this map. He is going to pick up this YA in the next second, then head over right to RA, and then head straight to Mega right after. Uh, it looks like Walter will pick up that Mega. Chance said settle for the RA and the YA. Uh, so Chance has the larger armor stack, while Walter has more health. He, Walter does not know the RA time. Uh, so he is going to be guessing for the next 15 seconds or so. An LG fight at the World YA. Walter jumps down nice. and takes the frag. So he makes it 5-2 to two with three minutes to go. And Catches Chance off the spawn. Uh, let Chance get a rail, nice. though, but takes him down anyway. And is now going to be able to get Ballsy. this RA. Oh, but Chance wow. spawns a shotgun and knocks him out of the air. N takes RA, N is gonna take Mega. That's the beauty of knowing the timing right there. You know that the timing, you know that the red armor is about to come up in, in that particular case. Hell, I just came off the spawn with 120 health. Why why wouldn't I take the shotgun and try to go over there and get that final little uh, last bit of health away from Walter? Ooh. That's exactly what he did. Walter gonna pick up another one, but here's where you gotta be. Very, very ballsy move right there. Rocket jumping up to the top, leaving himself with 29 points of health. And uh, again, one LG hit and and, uh, you know, uh, maybe a rocket hit. That could have been solid right there. He's still going to continue to traverse here with 29 points of health, but with seven seconds left, grab that 25, dude. Yes, now go to the back to the mega. All right, so he's gonna come out of the teleporter. He knows that red is about to be up, but I don't think either of these guys know that mega is about to, is uh, chance. Yeah, chance, chance just took Oh, he mega. just did grab it, all right. Walter's waiting there, see if he can offset the time of RA, but Chance knew he was there, shot a rocket into RA anyway. Uh, Walter does hit two rails in a row. Both players very low health now. Walter does have uh, the armor sack though, so Chance is in risk of getting fragged. Nice. He does, so Walter does make it a 7-5 game with two minutes to go. Uh, misses the rail off the oh spawn, my. does hit another one, and Chance craters is only yes. 65 now. 
Oh. Gotta love the craters. Get out of there Walker with the LG. Trying to get a frag there. A chance at Mega. Chance does pick up Mega. Walker only hits one rail. Uh, so Chance will make it 7-5. Uh, a little under two minutes to go. That red is up, and Chance is going to get that red. So uh, some some really, really great play by both of these guys, Slasher. Uh, I mean, both of them have shown some incredible display of skills uh, upon receiving control of the map. And neither of them has really let the other gain control over, you know, the last four minutes. It's kind of been back and forth. However, there's one minute and 18 seconds left in this matchup. With Chance having that two-point lead, that's going to force Walter to be overly aggressive. Now, a couple of things Ooh. can happen when that does happen. And uh, well, hold on, Walter uh, getting the hurt on down to 12 points of health. Oh, come oh on. he fell down, but not quite enough to take 10 away. That would have left him with five. There's the one-minute warning. And now you got to be saying to yourself, I need two frags. What the hell am I going to do? So, well, we're watching Walter right now. Let's see what he is going to do. Comes around the corner, gets nailed by that rail, and that will not set off uh, a good chain of events here for him. He misses that rail. He's down to six points of health, and I think that's going to pretty much be game over. The last chapter has been written in this first round matchup between Chance and Walter. Chance dominating that first map, and now by only two, there he's going to make it by three, eight to five, 26 seconds remaining in this matchup, Slasher. But I got to say, Walter played a hell of a game. I mean, Walter even had a chance there, but uh, he let Chance uh, get that RA, and then he missed time the Mega. So Chance was able to drop down, right. get that Mega, and then, you know, after that, there's really nothing that uh, Walter can do with a, such a little health advantage. Uh, but Walter did play a great game. He went on the offensive when he had to, got some really nice frags, took the lead down, uh, made it a one frag game with just under two minutes to go. So he had uh, a great opportunity to win that game, but it came down to, you know, just the last minute. Chance advances. Walter gets shot down to the uh, loser's bracket. But again, in the uh, pro tournament, there is sort of a uh, one more chance type situation because we do have double elimination, which is great. Um, that means we're also going to get to see these guys fight their way back. Oftentimes, some of these players will not play their best until they're down in that loser's bracket. They're like, oh, man, now I've got to go through eight guys in order to get back to the championship rounds. It's happened before. I expect it to happen here. Obviously, someone's got to come out of the loser's bracket, but uh, that is going to uh, pretty much, uh, well, there's the first two rounds. There a lot of games have been played right now. We're going to get some score updates. Yes, yeah, so get some updates. We're going to have another minutes. match here in uh, a few moments. We're yes, going to try we to get will. a loser's, mac uh, loser's bracket match, and then one more winner's bracket match before we probably call probably. it good tonight. Yeah. Uh, so, we will be back in just a moment. I'm DJ Wheat. Joining me is Slasher, and we are live from QuakeCon 2009. We'll be back with more Quake live action in the Pro 1v1 tournament. Don't go away.